We are learning new details tonight about the murder of a Greensboro mother of two. You'll remember someone shot and killed Natasha Walker as she celebrated the new year. Court documents show her husband hit her suspected killer with a car shortly afterward. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake has a closer look at the documents shedding new light on this case. After the shooting on New Year's Day, Greensboro police say the murder suspect, 48 year old Vashon Sigler, was hit by a car. Court documents now reveal that the driver of that car was Natasha Walker's husband, Jesse Walker. Those documents say Natasha Walker's husband allegedly tracked Sigler down after the shooting and hit Sigler with a car. They also outlined Sigler's injuries, saying he will need around the clock care until he's able to regain physical abilities. Sigler was taken to Moses Cone on New Year's Day, where he had to be intubated and was diagnosed with severe road rash to 10% of his left side. He also fractured part of his spine and pelvis, which required surgery. He's currently wheelchair bound and requires physical therapy three days a week. Documents go on to say that Sigler needs help getting dressed, using the bathroom and other physical activities. Vashon Sigler was charged with first degree murder and the death of Natasha Walker, among other charges. Police originally responded to shots fired on January 1st around 2 a.m. and found Walker suffering from a gunshot wound near Cridland Road and Parkway Street. Walker died from her injuries and the death was ruled a homicide. The, the court documents say that because of the level of care Sigler requires, he was transferred to a state facility in Raleigh. Greensboro police say the driver of the car, which court documents confirmed was Jesse Walker, is cooperating with the police on this investigation.